Welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book, Stop Walking on Eggshells. This book has been written for people who share close ties with people suffering from a borderline personality disorder, known as BPD, or with those who are undiagnosed but present BPD traits. The book is invaluable for anyone who comes into contact with BPD, be they partners, parents, children or friends. The book refers to this cohort as non-borderline or non-BP, non-BP designates people who spend time interacting with borderlines. Such people can be said to be walking on eggshells, at each and every moment on high alert, to the point where they feel utterly exhausted. You may have the view that there is a significant distance between yourself and those suffering from a BPD. Yet, in reality, according to findings from the National Institutes of Health, about 6% of the population is diagnosed with some form of borderline personality disorder. Consequently, it is actually quite likely that someone will be part of the family or friends group of a person with borderline traits. Such people, therefore, become non-borderlines by default. So, can we tell if we have become non-borderlines? The answer is to consider if we have ever been perplexed by the following types of behavior or attitude. Why did she treat me with tender affection a moment ago, and then, the next instant, rip me to shreds? Why is she entirely unable to put up with being ignored or neglected and feels terrified of being alone? Why did he say that I am the root cause of all his misfortune? How can someone intelligent and educated at times lose all sense of rationality? If a relationship with a certain person has made you feel like you are constantly treading on thin ice and as a result, you're left utterly exhausted, but, at the same time, you feel you cannot just let go and walk away, the other person is very likely to have a borderline personality disorder. However, your experience is by no means unique. There already exists a group of people who have shared similar experiences. Even though it may have needed a great effort, they have managed to break out of their predicament. Similarly, it is within your power to improve your circumstances. The book's twin authors are professionals with experience in psychological counseling. They have provided steady care and support for patients, families, as well as others profoundly impacted by proximity to borderline personality disorder. Apart from providing concise practical tips and sharing rich and detailed case studies, in the book the authors also strive to put across their particular conviction that no one needs to feel they are fighting a solitary battle. They say that you can shake off the negative impact inflicted on you by a loved one with borderline personality disorder, and in so doing, get a fresh start for yourself and regain full control over your life. Now, let us split the central points of the book into three parts. Part 1 – Understanding Borderline Personality Disorder Part 2 – addresses the negative influence of people with borderline personality disorder on those around them. Part 3, Coping with the Negative Influence of Borderline Personality Disorder